Have you ever wanted to rob a bank, burn a building down, kill someone? If you answered yes to any of those, please stay far away from me. And also, you probably would have noticed that those things are illegal. That's because years ago, some big government boy sat down and said, Okay lads, we've got a problem. Those peasants think they can do whatever they want. We have to make some rules. Any suggestions? No murder? Yeah, good one. No stealing? Perfect. Uh, excuse me, we'll also have to follow these rules, right? Oh Dave, you're a funny guy. Of course not. And that's how we got the laws we have today. Now most of these rules make sense, but throughout history, there have been laws that were made by kings or leaders who got paid way too much to sit on a throne and occasionally fuck their people over. So without further ado, here are some of the weirdest laws ever made in history. Now I think we can all agree that being knighted by the Queen of England is a pretty special thing. I mean, it's only given out to people who've truly achieved something. People who've cured diseases, people who've worked their whole lives to help others, people who are lucky enough to be born into a royal family. You know, the people who really deserve it. These days, the knighting process is pretty simple. I mean, you show up, get on your knees, she whacks you a few times with a stick and gives you a medal. And that's about it. Now, if you're a UK citizen, people have to legally call you sir or dame. And if you're from somewhere else, well, all you get is a fun fact you can tell the cashier at Walmart before your fifth credit card gets declined. But this process wasn't always this easy. In the past, getting knighted meant that you had to become an actual knight in the military. Now this was super expensive. You had to buy all these fancy suits of armor, you had to clean them, you had to buy a whole range of weapons, all because the king or queen said so. They were basically like a fairy godmother, except only for screwing you over. They'd swing a stick a few times, say some words, and just like that, half your life savings are gone. So one day, a guy called Roger de Somery, who was supposed to be knighted, was like, you know what, screw the king and screw the knighthood. If anyone's gonna waste my money, it's gonna be me, goddammit. And so he decided to decline being a knight. This made King Henry III very angry, and so he made a law saying that if someone refused to be a knight, the king could legally take away all their land. So in the end, Roger was still fucked anyway. Our next law comes from the 1300s in the UK. At this time, Edward II was the king of England, and he was having some problems with his nobles. You see, Edward had a favourite court member called Piers Gaveston, and if the court was a classroom, Piers was the kid who reminded the teacher about homework. He was the kid who started crying to the teacher when he got hit in dodgeball. He was given loads of special privileges, and literally all the nobles hated him, and they wanted him out of the court. Piers was exiled for a while, but when he returned, he was even worse. He started calling the other nobles names like Burst Belly and Horse Son, just in case being the king's favourite wasn't annoying enough. So the nobles turned to the king. Now during this time, most people would solve their problems by killing someone, but unfortunately killing the king was illegal, so the nobles couldn't do it. So they instead decided to show up in court in a full suit of armour with all their weapons. What's with the new outfit? Oh, nothing. I just like wearing armor. You like my new sword? Uh, y yeah, it it's pretty sharp. You, you won't be using the sword though, right? We'll see what happens. Apparently, the king was so spooked by the suits of armor that he made a new law that banned wearing armor in the royal palace. This did fuck all in making the nobles happy though, but at least now they could go places without sounding like a decaying mattress having a seizure. Our next law comes from the hellhole that is California, where having a pet ferret is illegal for some reason, but YouTubers are given human rights. Absolutely disgraceful. Anyway, according to California law, animals can't mate within 1500 feet of a tavern, school or a place of worship. Now I guess some people wouldn't want their kids watching Mickey and Minnie getting it on in the middle of the schoolyard, so this law kinda makes sense. But then again, if we're gonna talk about mating, there's way worse things going on in churches than any animal could think of, so I think we should just let them do what they want. Speaking of California, in the city of Chico, it's illegal to detonate nuclear bombs, and if you were gonna do that, you'll have to pay a whole $500 as a fine. So basically half a grand for the destruction of an entire city. Sounds like a good deal to me. In Wisconsin, until 2017, it was illegal to sell baked food if it was baked at home, and the punishment was thousands of dollars or six months in jail. So if you saw little Timmy selling some cookies on the street, you report his ass so he gets sent to jail and his family goes bankrupt. Cause that's what good citizens do. In England around 1800, a guy wore a top hat for the first time and caused a fucking riot. Apparently he was such a hipster that he caused people to faint and a massive crowd formed around him. It got so bad that a boy broke his arm because the crowd was so big and the top hat guy was asked to pay 500 pounds for disturbing the peace. To be fair, top hats are pretty scary. I mean, what do you need all that extra space for? You're either hiding something illegal or you're mega mind, so if I saw one for the first time in the 1800s, I'd be scared for my life too. 
And lastly, we have the United Arab Emirates. You ever lose in a video game and say some indecent words? Well, in the UAE, you'd be arrested or forced to pay thousands of dollars. Gamers are truly oppressed in this society. Apparently, UAE stands for YouTube Algorithm Extreme Edition because instead of just getting demonetized, swearing there is an actual crime with jail time or fines. Apparently, it disgraces the honor or the modesty of a person. Well, excuse me for being dishonorable, but that sounds like fucking dog shit. Now, I'm all for arresting the 13-year-old on Xbox Live who screams the N-word when they get killed in a game. But other than that, I think there's slightly better uses for police time than this. Holy shit, are you okay? Sorry about that, we couldn't let a criminal like that stay alive. I mean, what if he said the F word? Anyway, I hope you have a nice day, citizen. So yeah, those are some of the weirdest laws ever made, some of which still exist. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, and check out some other videos in the description. I'll see you guys later. I got bands, they multiply, they gon' last, they gon' last, and my cash is exponential, they gon' last.